to Mature Sass. If you like style and fashion, then you've come to the right place. But unfortunately, today, it's not that kind of day. I've been tagged by my friend Laura over on Lifestyle of Laura. So if you want to participate in knowing my answers for this fun fall tag, keep watching. by Laura on Lifestyle of Laura. Laura and I are very similar in that we both love fashion. We love to style out style out, um, outfits and such. But Laura, here's where we differ. <laughs> My answers are going to be so boring because I'm not really a fall person and getting out like you do. Laura, you can find her on her channel. I'm going to link her down below. Every day she's somewhere, like out in the woods or on a nature trail somewhere. And it's absolutely beautiful because you can see all the beautiful orange and red and yellow leaves all around her. And she's either in a pumpkin patch or an apple orchard or doing something or at a floral shop picking up um, florals for an arrangement. I am not that girl. But this shouldn't take too long. There's only nine questions, so here we go. Okay, so question number one. What is your favorite cool weather food? Hmm. You know what, in the fall, I like to make a big pot of stew or either chili and have it with cornbread and sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. That's my comfort food in the fall. And number two, your favorite cool weather smell. Mm, I think probably cinnamon because you guys have got me like in the fall mood. And um, I started taking out some of my things for fall and kind of decorating a little bit at the fireplace and the table. I'll insert a couple of pictures here. Some of the leaves and the pine cones have a cinnamon scent. So you, my house smells like cinnamon right now. I had to do away with my um, Lime Blossoms air freshener for now because, the, and I, that's what I was trying to get in my uh, Grove Collaborative box because I think the eyeshadow shopper, I still don't know her name. She still didn't tell me when I did the video the other day. Um, I think that that was one of the fragrances that she got for her uh, air freshener. Uh, number three, your favorite place to view the fall. I guess I would just have to say probably through you all because I look over on Instagram and see all of your beautiful pictures you're posting. It doesn't change here. We still have the green palm trees all year. But uh, probably I'd have to say to be able to take a trip back home to West Virginia because the foliage this time of year is absolutely divine beautiful burnt orange leaves, red, yellow, green. It, it's absolutely amazing because it's the mountain state. So as far as you can see in the trees and the mountains, beautiful, beautiful fall colors. So maybe to go back home. Uh, number four, my favorite fall color. Mm, I would have to say that burnt orange kind of sienna color or terracotta uh, because I'm seeing a lot of that in stores right now and no I, I didn't shop hold on <laughs> but I'm seeing a lot of that color and then too that real uh, dark mustard color th that I told you guys about this called amber glow that's the color for fall and if you notice you see it everywhere but I would have to say kind of like a burnt orange color for fall. Uh, the movie that puts you in a fall mood. <laughs> I told you guys this was going to be boring. I don't really do a lot of movies. I really don't. Or if I'm watching movies, I like to go over on um, 
Lifetime Movie Network. Those are my kind of movies. So for fall, I'm just going to go back to my school days and say Charlie Brown's Halloween because that's all I can think of movie-wise. I'm not really a movie person. And number uh, six, your best fall event. I don't have a fall event. Does shopping count as an event? <laughs> If so, I would have to say Cyber Monday. That's what I look forward to. I don't have a fall event. I don't go to, and especially like this year, I don't really go to carnivals and fall festivals and all that. I probably should. I just don't. My friends try to get me to go. I just don't. Um, so maybe like, um, maybe like a carnival. There you go. Fall event, carnival. Uh, seven, your favorite fall memories. Mm, probably in my childhood back in West Virginia because we used to try to do bonfires like in the neighborhood <laughs> because it is cold this time of year there. So that's what I remember most and then having hot chocolate with marshmallows and even trick-or-treating, you know, we uh, because, you know, there were seven of us. My mom couldn't afford like to buy head-to-toe costumes like these kids wear now and so we would get like from i don't even know what the stores were Woolworths maybe back then you know how you could just get the like inexpensive masks and then we would just make our own costumes with what we had at home you know whether we were going as a ghost or a superhero or whatever those are good memories number eight your irrational fall fear scary things about the fall i don't do haunted houses period point blank period so don't ask me to go in <laughs> i just that just creeps me out with all kinds of stuff hanging and people with blood dripping and stuff jumping out scaring you and stuff that's not my idea of fun it just isn't even in my youth it wasn't fun so i would say haunted houses and stuff like that i don't i don't get it <laughs> and number nine painfully funny fall memory nothing Laura I'm sorry a funny fall memory I don't know <laughs> nothing I don't know so thank you for stopping by I know I'm sorry I apologize ahead of time that I, I knew this was going to be boring because I'm not really like it a person that gets out and goes apple pick. Well, first of all, in Florida, where are you going to go? So maybe down near Miami to pick from the orange trees. But I'm not really an apple orchard kind of person. Going to the pumpkin patch, picking your pumpkins, carving your pumpkins. Now, when I taught school, we carved pumpkins. Oh, we d I'll use that as a was well, not really a funny fall memory, but it's a good fall memory. You know, we would, you know, carve the pumpkins and take the seeds out and lay them on a tray, take them down to the cafeteria and have the ladies to toast them for us. Those were good memories. Can you tell sometimes I miss school? <laughs> I'm not going in right now, but sometimes I miss school. So right now I'm going to tag, I think four people. I'm going to tag the beautiful Bella over on uh, beauty on a budget my friend Marion at life unboxed um Janie if you're feeling up to it over on over 60 with flair and my friend the eyeshadow shopper so guys thank you so much for joining me and if you are not a subscriber of my channel please hit that red subscribe button down below and become part of the sassy family why don't you Make sure that you tap the notification bell that's going to alert you whenever I upload next time and make sure that you thumbs up the video. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out, and making sure that you were sassy. I'll see you soon.